up guys? We are currently driving to do a little cruise with some of the homies. Uh, I got you guys on the GoPro mount. It's a little easier for me to talk to you guys. But I do see a Ferrari up there. I kind of want to mess with it. I don't know. I, I really don't know my exotic car, so I really can't say which one it is. But nonetheless, I will say this car is really good looking. And uh, we're going to fill up with some E85 because I am lo pretty low on E85. We're just right, man. I can't get through. Try to pull it next to it. It looks pretty clean though, not gonna lie. I think it's a 4.5. I think that is a 4.5. I don't know though. Oh, my man's skirt skirting off, man. Oh shit, he's kind of going. Well, I gotta get some 85. So we're gonna go fill up with some 85, and I am gonna wear a glove because, like, bruh, it's really. Like, I'd be seeing people touch the pumps and like, that's like probably one of the most dirty things I've seen is touching the pumps like that. So we will definitely get a glove, which we do have like a latex glove to make sure that we don't like get anything or anything that we could have prevented, you know? So we're gonna do that. So E85 right now is currently 185. Uh, Pearson, if you guys don't know, is like one of the biggest manufacturers in making the E85 and whatnot and uh they have gas for cheap uh they're having promotions because you know nobody's really going out as much as you know people used to so like i said we'll get some 85 and about a crash right here let's see if it's 185 though i always forget which pump or which yeah it is 185 okay let's go and when people don't understand that there's only a few pumps with the 85 Let's take a look. Dang. This shit's fully optioned out. 100%. Uh, this is the Alex SVT. We're doing a review on the 2020 PP Level 1. Yep. Digital dash and everything. Got the new chain on Jack Boy. 345 miles. That's fresh. Hey, that digital dash is sick though. I think I probably want to... Can I start it real quick? Yeah. All right. Does it have active exhaust? Yeah. It does? That's sick. So that's the loud mode, right? Yeah. Check her out. Sounds pretty good. And then this one, right? Or which yeah, one? Let's see what quiet sounds like. Oh, it's ass. Oh, yeah, it's way different. So, how much did it come out to? Like 50? 46. No way, 46? Yeah. That's actually really good. Yeah, well, that's with warranty taxes and everything like that, too. 46,000 for this car is nice. It's like a good ass deal. Yeah. Sheesh. Introduce yourself, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel, okay, so he's got a Gallardo. It's a 205? Yeah. Dang, I think I, I've always liked these these body styles though. I like though. the Gen 1 better because it sounds, uh, it's got a higher pitch scream than the deep rumble. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna get a 12, but then I drove this and I liked it a lot better. So it's clean. This for 99999 oh, Dang. You hop in it. And then, uh. The interior though looks fresh. It's 14K miles, and now it's got like almost 21,000. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. V10, it's a V10? Okay. Yeah. Got a 2B exhaust. Yeah. 2B right. exhaust, 5 speed quad tips. Start. Put the brake and then turn it. Okay. Damn. That V10 sounds clean. Here, go behind it. Give it some rest. Sheesh. I'm, I'm cool, but I definitely like this car. I love this color though, this color. Yeah, it's I mean, I'm not a, I don't know a lot about exotics, but this one's pretty clean for sure. Yeah, I'm debating going Huracan 458 or uh, Gen 2 R8. So we have Ethan's new 10 speed 5.0, fully loaded digital dash. It looks pretty clean, it's a 10 speed. These things are beasts though. Stupid fast roll thing. We have Daniel's Gallardo right here. Is it bone stock? It just has an exhaust, right? Yeah, just exhaust on it, V10. Sounds really good. In Frank's 5.0. Oh my. Oh shit. Damn. That Gallardo though, that's crazy.
It's cause I have my seats in the car. Do a 50. but what do you guys think i'm thinking about doing a solid axle swap onto the cobra i'm not quite sure yet just because like i'm more of just a straight line type of guy i could care less about the turns this is really good at making turns i guess if anything but the cobra i kind of just want it to be fast and light as possible and the irs definitely weighs a little bit compared to the solid axle so solid axle and a tubular k-member i'd be lo lo losing a lot of weight so it is a viable option that i might consider but we will see Lambo, got the five O's right here posted up. And uh, we're about to head up this road right here. Hopefully we get some cool little roller shots with the other camera and we'll see you guys in a bit. Now this is pretty sick, that's a nice view. How did the five O perform? Oh, did that just happened? Yeah. No. So, was it 460 stock or right or something like that? Yeah. 460 stock. Yeah, the only thing I don't really like is the engine cover. But aside from that, it's a good you can Just take the bitch right off. I know you could just take it off, to be honest. Got the Gallardo cooling off right here, making all the glorious V10 sounds. We got the boy Matt P getting a little JLT intake on his 2B. Should make some gains. I should have showed you how I fit it right now, dude. This shit goes in. Oh, this is the one that goes into the fender. Yeah, it's the cold air. The ram air just oh, goes like right there. Right yeah, there. I, that's what I have on the Cobra. This one is kind of different because it goes into the fender, but other than that. Say this one's a bitch. Yeah, no, that one is a bitch. That's, the ram air is easy because it just sticks out, but you got the fender set up. I was going to jack it up right now, too, because I got to check my exhaust on the passenger side. Yeah. Now you might have to, so we'll see what's up. Make it easier. Whoever said my two valve was slow in the last video. Ah, uh, someone said that it was slow? <laughs> no, wow. not slow, I mean quiet. Actually. Oh, it's a, little, it's a little quiet, but it's all Gucci. We, we need to get the H pipe. We got the directions. Yes, sir. So we have pretty much a JLT intake going into, like I said, Matt's 2V. It's really not that hard. Uh, this one is a fender mounted cold air intake, so it obviously sits in the fender. Uh, it's a little more difficult as a ram air intake. It kind of just sits right here, but. It, there's a lot of debate as to which one, but we're about to finish it right now and hit you guys with the finished product. Oh. 